more federally funded mass vaccination sites begin to close. Official approval could also make it easier for schools and employers to require the vaccine. And while authorities hope it builds more public confidence, to out to sea to fishermen in remote areas of Alaska, 150 million Americans have at least one shot. Once I got vaccinated, it was no holds barred. The growing numbers could soon lead to major changes in face mask mandates. It's overrun, no longer has a single COVID patient. Tonight, the pandemic may not yet be over, but new signs the end may be near. Miguel, let's get back to that possibility of reviewing face mask mandate. All right, Miguel, thank you. And for a check on where we stand on vaccinations, we asked NBC's Steve Kornacki to look at the numbers for us. Steve, what do we know? Well, Lester, let's start with some good news here. These numbers. This is what you're looking at. For the last month, the number of new doses administered each day, it's been coming down. A lot of unvaccinated folks still out there. If you are one of them, Go to planyourvaccine.com. You can figure out where and when to get it. Lester. Still. That equal justice is possible in America. The indictment says Chauvin deprived Floyd of his constitutional right to be free from the use of unreasonable force by a police officer. Chauvin and three other officers also face a charge. 6,000. We never thought that after the first 50 or 60 days, everything would be fine. Today, there's more evidence that our economy is moving in the right direction. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell asked the president about the extra unemployment benefits put in place. In fact, on diminishing a return to work in some categories? No, nothing measurable. In March, Eleanor Fernandez told us she's been looking for work for nearly a year. But at the time, she was only being offered low-paying part-time positions. You've been Might we begin to see change? Lester, that money is just starting to make its way out the door. For example, $28 billion was allocated to the restaurant industry. Those additional funds will hopefully help increase wages and get more workers back on the payroll. We're confident the falling rocket won't cause any harm, and they dismissed the criticism as Western hype. Orbiting space junk around Earth has increased dramatically and is closely monitored. Most of the rocket is expected to burn in the atmosphere, like controlled... But last year, another massive Chinese rocket body may have struck near a village in West Africa. And other Chinese rocket debris has fallen onto populated areas, destroying buildings. Right now, the Department of Defense is monitoring the rocket's trajectory. We have the capability. Saw it as an effort to discriminate against white students. There will be no home for this toxic ideology here in South Lake. Many believing the school can address racist incidents with its existing code of conduct. So now the work begins. South Lake's candidates opposing the plans next. Do I stand and fight? Because honestly, that's what black people do. Is it worth staying? Is this worth subjecting my kids to this? At a school board meeting Monday night, parents were as divided as she reads me stories because she picks me up from school she does a lot of important stuff for me because she's always there for me mother's day that perfect sunday in may breakfast in bed flowers maybe even i mean he doesn't pay his bills we also know that giuliani is not exactly frugal when it comes to spending habits political reports that one of the ex-wives of the man who made millions monetizing his post 9 11 reputation has alleged in court filings that Rudy has shelled out feels like to be thrown under the bus uh, by the Donald. <laughs> um, I, I want to play for you somebody that I'm sure you know, Andrew Giuliani, the son of Rudy Giuliani. And here's his advice, uh, I guess, to Donald Trump. Take a listen. Do you expect anyone or anything other than himself? Now, as we also know that they took advantage of a lot of individuals who were donating to the various different Trump PACs or uh, funds, and that they had them constantly on the to part with a single dollar, knowing that it's going to cost several millions of dollars in order to put together a proper taint team, which, by the way, the people he has right now are not capable of doing it. It took 26 people a day. Right? A day. And he actually thought a day. He thought Donald Trump was going to pay him one hundred and forty thousand dollars a day. He has a better chance of sling shooting himself to the moon. I mean, it's <laughs> impossible. Donald shooting down right now with prosecutors because Rudy knows exactly how the game is going to go. He created yeah. the rules. He created the rules to go after organized crime. And they're going to use the same playbook 
that he created is going to work for all the other two other lawyers that he brought on. By the way, nine, none of them are capable of becoming a taint team. They may know how yeah. to do it, but not when you have millions of documents. It really requires a very... Alan Dershowitz, I don't know if he's working for him, but he's, you know, Jeffrey Epstein, some of his previous clients, you know, Klaus von Bülow, Donald Trump. Uh, last question to you. Rudolph, let me play Rudy, Rudy Giuliani very quickly. This is Giuliani saying he had insurance policy, and this is in 2019. Take a listen. I mean, that sounds like it's no, going to throw Trump it's under probably, the bus. Right. Welcome. By the way, so I put a hashtag out the other day under the bus club. Right. Welcome, Judy, to the un, right to Rudy, to the under the bus club. Um, what his insurance is, I don't know, farm, all state. Who the hell knows what he's talking about? The problem with Rudy is that he drinks like a maniac. And the worst thing to do is to drink and then go on television <laughs> because, you know, he's stupid. Right, in order to drink. Desde Córdoba y lo estamos viendo. ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas noches. Gracias por esta comunicación. ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? Marcelo, eh, en principio, ¿en qué momento podría llegar a, a caer en la República Argentina? Ha habido. Yo, yo eh, estoy trabajando en el Centro Espacial Teófilo Tabanera en Córdoba de la CONAE y he recibido. Este, partes de, que, que habían caído en, en, acá, a las 9 de la noche, se era hora de tiempo universal, era el momento en el que se esperaba el reingreso. ¿Y dónde? Y si era así, sería en el Océano Pacífico. Océano Pacífico. Pacífico. Es decir, que si caía una partecita del cohete en Córdoba, ya no podíamos hacer... ...taking it as far south as Australia and as far north as New York. And it could hit anywhere. It could change or a solar wind can change. There's all kinds of things that can change. The debris is likely to fall on water, X-Play, because it covers 70% of Earth's surface. The risk of being hit is small, but it's not zero. In movies like Armageddon, there are no plans to try to intercept it. We don't have a plan to shoot the, the rocket now. We're hoping the rocket is expected to burn in the atmosphere, and China is downplaying the risk. But pieces of other China fell on the Ivory Coast in West Africa. When you put something in space, uh, you have a responsibility to take... Still anyone's guess. Peter, Kristen, this is one of the largest pieces of space to fear, but it is also unlikely to be the last. China has 10 more launches planned between now... Kristen? Wow, that is pretty frightening. All right, Sarah Harmon, thank you for that report. We get to talk about Donald Trump! <laughs> Our ratings suck without him. And we'll also be covering Bill Gates' divorce, how Canada is holding their citizens hostage, Biden's photo op, Florida, and the medical mafia. But first, Donald was trying to incite riots. The Facebook Oversight Board upheld Trump's ban from the platform as they found he severely violated community guidelines with two posts. They concluded his phrase is, we love you, you're very special, great, remember this day forever, were inciting violence. Meanwhile, California Democrat Maxine Waters is still on all platforms for inciting peace with her words, stay on the streets and get more confrontational. This just made a lot of progress heating it up over the past year. And you're the frog. In other news, Joe Biden and his wife, what's her name? Mrs. Biden. During the visit, Jimmy Carter was overheard saying to a staffer while pointing at Biden, Jesus, that guy looks old. The photo has received a lot of controversy around the internet as the Bidens look abnormally large. This is the rumors. We can say if they turn out to be true, it would be the first thing that's deceptive or fake about Biden's presidency. And it's worth noting that the giant Bidens were brave enough to take their masks off during the visit in the Carter's home. And Harris got her political start in her 20s when she was sleeping with a 60-year-old married man. State Assembly Speaker Willie Brown, who then in turn appointed her to positions that advanced her career as she slept her way to the top. Article published that Bill and Melinda had an agreement that Bill was allowed to take one vacation a year with his ex-girlfriend. Intriguing. Though most people don't believe this story, as they don't believe Bill could get laid by two women. Can a type of passport to enter their country? Yeah. Could you tell my Canadian friends I'm not going to be able to see them again? Yeah. 
because I'm not an obedient little bitch. What are the leaders of the Chinese coming? My all new Freedom line of merch is designed for the latter. Those who choose freedom over fear and bravery over obedience are not just making the world a better place for themselves, but a better place for their children and grandchildren. If you're with